I gave my students some homework to get them to demonstrate several styles at once. So let's see what happens. I wanted to show inline as one file, uh, embedded as another, and linked as a third. And I wanted to show, I think, at least three or five or something other kinds of styles. So let's see how quickly I can do that. I'm going to go ahead and show you this uh, valid XHTML page. Here it is, set up to cust be customized to my company. And I'm going to go back to that file and make a couple copies of it. Right. So I'll copy and I'll paste and I'll call that, uh, actually I didn't want to do that, I wanted to copy my company page. So I'll copy my company page and paste it and call it uh, company, let's see, it helps to edit it, company styles onehtm paste again, paste again, f2, company styles 2htm f2, company styles 3 .htm, of course naming can get a little sloppy. See, I'm stressed because I'm recording here. Okay, so now I'll open up that one with Notepad. Uh, basically, I'll let me get this font down a little bit smaller. And I just want to add a couple inline styles. So I'll just do my favorites. I go to H1, I add a style, equals, quote, quote, and in here I always make my headings Times New Roman. So font family times new Roman. And I'll put that in single quotes because it has spaces in it just to be safe. And then I follow the semicolon and I want the text to be centered. Align colon center and followed by a semicolon. And that's one style. And then I'll go ahead and add to the paragraph. I'll put a style equals font family colon Tahoma followed by color will be teal semicolon background color will be silver followed by semicolon so I've done three styles there and two styles there and can't remember what I was actually requiring but those are in line so now let's go look at it that's the styles one so I'll double click that and I've got Welcome to Bumble Shoot Enterprise. Notice it's centered in Times New Roman. However, uh, I don't see any other text, probably because I never actually used uh, the other stuff for my, I don't think I had the uh, good paragraph material. So let's go to the valid XHTML and swipe that paragraph material. Open with Notepad. And uh, I think we'll just take these two paragraphs, copy them and go back to um, my company styles. And uh, actually I see them here, so that means I made a mistake. So I go over here and here's my closing paragraph tag. And it says Bumbleshoot Enterprise aims to be, this is company styles one, and company styles one. So somewhere in here I've got some messed up HTML. So I'll double check, I have an open paragraph the style is there. I can put that on a new line to make it easy to read. I open the quotes, then I come over here, and I never close my quotes. So you close the quotes, easy to make a mistake. Control S, Alt Tab, F5, and there I have. So notice how the first paragraph has a different background color, a different color, and a different font. So you can see how the inline style only applies to that paragraph. Okay, moving right along, I'm going to go ahead and do a save as for company styles 2, and uh, just overwrite that one. And now I want to convert those styles to be in the head. So all I've got to do up here is put a style tag and then a closing style tag. And this makes embedded. And I want to set it up for heading one. And we do this by putting the curly braces. And I want to do another one that's, that's paragraph. And again, we do the curly braces. and I can just copy those styles. So I take that whole thing from there to there, cut it, and put that into the heading. And then I'm gonna clean it up a little. So I put each on its own line. And then I'll do the same with paragraph. By the way, I can get rid of this stuff because there's nothing in it. And I'm gonna cut that style. I'll take that whole thing out like this. So I'm back to